Um, you can observe a lot by watching why Yogi Bear says that just by sitting still and observing the scene around you, you can learn a lot and see different things. For examples, you can see um, examples of seeing love and seeing anger, and like feelings of people. So today I'm going to give an example of seeing love and seeing anger. So an example of seeing love would be going and walking around and seeing how people do things, like girls and guys when they're holding hands and people showing affection and holding hands and things like that, like kissing and hugging and things like that. And for example, my cousin and her boyfriend are always sitting, like sitting and they've been together for seven years now. And whenever they go to my, like my grandma's house and we have family things, they're always sitting next to each other and like holding hands and being like really cute and stuff. But it's not too much for like a family to like be like, you need to go somewhere else for that and stuff. But yeah. And next is anger. So an example of anger would be in a driving in a car. Like for instance, when you're driving down the street, you see people speeding down the highway or people rolling down their window and giving you a middle finger and screaming out the windows and yelling and things. And you can kind of tell how a person's feeling just by looking at them like in a car and like their actions in the car. Um, so in conclusion, you can observe a lot by watching. It says that you can just just sitting still and like observing, you can learn a lot. And the next time you're out, just sit and observe and see what you can learn and see if you can catch on to how someone else's like someone else's like energy. Thank you. All right. Well, you just used the quote as the attention device. That's always an issue uh, that's a little problematic. But you had a pretty clear thesis statement. I like the you had a preview that you're talking about. You're just going to talk about the two ideas, and that's that's all right. Um, you your visualizations were okay. Uh, I'm imagining your uh, brother and gr his girlfriend sitting on the couch at Thanksgiving, uh, engaged in public displays of affection that make everybody a little uncomfortable. Uh, that's. I, that's okay. I think we can get that uh, image in our head and understand what you're talking about. And the other one is pretty straightforward as well. I, and I'm just just because you have those examples, I wasn't sure that it meant anything. Actually, I thought when you got to the conclusion of the speech and you put it together about being more observant and being able to understand what's going on around you, I thought that suddenly the speech made a little bit more sense, that uh, you'd found a way to put those things together by the time you finished. And so uh, your exit felt a lot stronger than the uh, beginning of the speech did. Uh, presentation issues. We can hear you. I think you can get a little bit more control and power in the uh, relationship here with us if you project a little bit more. 
Uh, there's reasonable variety and, and good pacing. Actually, the pacing, I think, is one of the things that helps because you do feel a little, a lot more in control because there's not a lot of hesitation and you move regularly through the things that you're talking about, so that does help you a little bit. <laughs> I thought you were very expressive with your facial expressions uh, as you're talking to us, and your eye contact with the audience is usually pretty consistent. It's a brief presentation, um, maybe a little, I would say if anxiety is coming out anywhere, it's maybe a little bit in your voice. It, I didn't see anything visually, like we were talking about learning a lot by watching, I didn't see anything that seemed to be indicative of anxiety that's going on there. Hearing a little bit maybe. Uh, like I said though, I thought the conclusion of the speech did a pretty good job making this work better as a speech than you had at the beginning of the presentation. All right, thank you.